What's up, world? It's your girl, T. <laughs> so anyways, I got a ratchet story for you guys. And no, it's not coming out of Florida. It is coming out of Gwinnett County, Georgia. And so now, if you guys have not heard, there's this crazy story about three men who worked at a warehouse. And basically, these three men stole $65,000 worth of chicken. Bags of frozen chicken wings. They stole them from their job, and they were caught earlier this week. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip right now, and then come back with my commentary. <laughs> This is one of the more unusual crimes. Three men are accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars in chicken wings. Now, police have arrested two of the suspects. CBS Lenta Sonia Moki joins us live in Gwinnett County. So, Sonia, I hate to ask, but I have to. How many wings are we talking about? Well, Katie, to be exact, $65,000 worth of frozen Tyson's chicken wings were stolen by those men from this refrigerated storage facility behind me. Now, police believe two of the men actually worked here and managed to get their hands on the frozen meat without ruffling too many feathers at first. It was around 11 o'clock in the morning on January 12th when police say three men pulled up to this Nordic cold storage facility in Gwinnett County. Police believe Nordic employees Ronaldo Jackson and Dwayne Patterson were involved. Police say Jackson loaded up 10 pallets of frozen Tyson wings into a rental truck and that his wingman, Wayne, kept a lookout. We caught up with Wayne's mother tonight. He's a very law-abiding person. That's why I don't, I don't understand that at all. Police say the heist was over in 20 minutes and that employees reported the missing wings three days later. Gwinnett County police were waiting for the two employees when they reported to work the next day. But the incident begs the question, why steal wings? $65,000 of chicken wings? Sounds like a well-planned uh, heist to me with the Super Bowl coming up. And exactly how much chicken is that? To put it in perspective, this bag of Tyson frozen chicken wings, about five pounds of it, is $12.50. So that's $65,000 worth of chicken divided by twelve fifty times five. That's 26,000 pounds of frozen chicken wings. All right, start. Ooh, that's a, you know, you're gonna need some hot sauce with that. Surely the theft is no laughing matter to the chicken wings intended recipients. But with the reported chicken shortage causing chicken prices to skyrocket before the Super Bowl, some are concerned about what happened to the goods. Did they recover the chicken wings? I mean, are we out of the chick? I mean, is it a total loss? Now, Gw Gwinnett County Police have not been able to confirm whether or not those chicken wings were recovered. I'm live in Gwinnett County, Sonia Mogi, CBS, Atlanta News. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and the whole situation is just straight up ratchet. I love how the mom comes to the door, you know, she's trying to hide behind the door, and she's like, you know, I don't understand this. He's a law-abiding citizen. Yeah, okay, if you say so, mom. But, I mean, what I also found funny was the fact that you know how the news ladies trying to calculate how many pounds of chicken they stole. You know, 1250 times this equals 6,500 pounds of chicken. Who gives a shit how many pounds of chicken they stole? Do you realize how many bags of chicken that was? When you take 1250 times a five pound bag, that means these fools stole 5,200 bags of chicken. I don't understand how they thought that nobody would notice 5,200 bags of chicken gone like that. So they thought they was going to steal 5,200 bags of chicken and then come back into work and, you know, have a good Super Bowl Sunday? Like, come on, let's be real. This makes no sense to me. I don't understand why they would steal that much chicken. I can understand stealing a few bags. I can understand stealing 5 to 10 bags. But 5,200 bags of chicken and you don't think you're going to get caught? They're not playing with a full deck, obviously. I honestly don't believe that they would have stole that much chicken if they didn't have some type of wait list, some type of order. I want to know who the hell is out here buying frozen chicken from random people on the street. And you guys might find this funny, but I've had people come up to me on the street and try to sell me steaks, try to sell me shrimp. And I'm like, I'm not buying anything off of somebody I don't know. I don't know what you did to that meat. I don't know how long that meat's been in your damn pocket or in your purse. I'm not buying a T-bone steak from you, lady. It's crazy how people will steal meat and really be trying to hustle it out on the streets. I mean, if you buy meat off the street, do you? You not understand meat prices are going up. 
I just don't trust anybody to not do nothing with my food. I gotta, you know what I'm saying, know where directly it's coming from, from the grocery store to my house. I'm not buying stuff off of nobody randomly. But I think the reason why they stole so many bags of chicken is because people were placing orders. Just like when people place orders to have people go and take stuff. You know, but I just think it's just crazy that they would steal that much chicken and think that they would be able to get away with it. $65,000 worth of, you know, any product is going to raise some eyebrows. So I think the situation is not only ratchet, but it's crazy as hell. So anyways, go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. And what do you guys think about the price of chicken wings going up? Um, from what I'm hearing, there really is a shortage. They've been talking about this for the past few weeks, that they might not be enough wings to go around during Super Bowl Sunday. But, you know, it is what it is. So go ahead, leave a comment. All right, deuces.